Hey you guys, how are you? I am doing good today. I'm ready to create for spring and I hope you are too. Um, as I say that I'm looking at, it's snowing out our window, but I can tell there is good things coming ahead. So um, I'm kind of excited that Valentine's is over so we can officially be into spring because I did so much Valentine's stuff. But Today, I've been wanting to do these for a couple years now, and I started them on terracotta pots, but I found these at Walmart, and they are like a seed starting Jiffy Pot, and I'm just going to give it a whirl today and see how these work. If not, I'll show you the terracotta way. Okay, so they come, I'm going to say they come in about, they come maybe 10 of them, and they're three inches across, I believe, and about four inches long just so you can kind of get an idea how large they are. Three inches tall, I guess, and that's probably why they said they're three inches. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna have about five of them out, and I have a bunch of different pastel-y, Easter-y spring colors that I'm gonna use, and um, I will have this all listed in my blog post, so you can go to the blog post and see all the details of the size of the pod and the colors that I used if you wanna do the same exact thing. Otherwise, you know, you can find basic, like pale yellows and blues and everything. So um, I am going to get started and show you just a cute way that you can kind of decorate for spring. These aren't big decorations, so you can kind of set them different places, which are my favorite decorations because I love just to set them like on the wine rack and on the entryway table and on our little coffee table and by the bar sink. So these little crafts are just so cute and my favorite. And um, so you can just do so much with them, you know. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to show you I'm gonna to try to get this, there we go. And I'm gonna show you these, I'm guessing these are gonna be pretty easy to paint because the paint is going to adhere well to the papery, ooh, that is not good. That is very watery. So I'm gonna shake up the paint because that makes sense because I got these last year and I've been wanting to get to these crafts and I just have not gotten to it. So I'm sure that's why it was very watery. So shake up your paint, shake it up. All right, so I'm going to just paint one coat, and I'm hoping while I'm on here, I can get kind of all through this because I'm guessing that maybe these are gonna dry quick so I can go to the next step with them. So the only difference with these versus the terracotta is that they're a little bit flimsier. So you probably can't, I mean, smash them or lay them down because you don't want them to get smashed, but at least they're not breakable like terracotta is. So if you drop them, that's a good thing, right? They can, you can drop them and they won't break. So we're gonna give one color of paint, one good coat on one of the little flower pots, all right? So you can set that to the side and I can tell as I'm going around, I can already see that it's absorbing really quick. That looks like pink to me, but in here it's definitely purple. All right, and then I'm gonna go to my next color and I'm gonna grab a different brush. I just love this blue. This one is one of my faves. This one is called Patina and it's like an aqua blue, okay? But like I said, if you're just coming on, I'll have everything listed on my blog. It's because some people like to follow exactly, exact colors, exact everything that I'm doing, and I totally get it. It's just easier when you're trying to replicate something if you have those exact colors. So I'm just using my paint and painting right on here. If you want to use a dish, you can use a dish too. So this part's kind of fun and easy and simple. You're just going to get each of the pots painted several different colors, go all the way to the top. We're not doing the middle. This might be a fun craft to do with kids too. Or like I was thinking, the idea that keeps coming in my head is that if you are decorating for Easter, what a cute little decoration for your plates for your guest. And then they have a little take home gift. Or you know, it's a really cute idea too, if you're doing a bridal shower in the spring. I've seen these done as well too. And I've got a really cute poem that I just remembered that I should give to you. 
because that is really cute. Like if you're doing a baby shower, these little pots just go along with it really well with little seeds growing. All right, so let's just do two for now. And I will show you at the end of the video all of them together. But isn't that aqua just scream spring to you? It's just so beautiful. If you guys saw over Christmas, my nutcracker, I did this aqua over a lot of it. So I guess it just doesn't scream spring. It's like so cool for Christmas and everything else. So while those are drying, maybe we should get another one painted. What color? Maybe we'll just do green because my cap's already off of it. And I'm going to shake this up. This lime green is so cute. And I don't think that I would love these pastas as much if I didn't have the lime green in here. So I'm just taking my aqua blue brush and we're not going to get too picky. We're just going to paint right over it with it. And if we see a little aqua blue through it, that's okay. Just give it a little bit more character. Make you put like, make it look like you put a little bit more work into it than you did. This is almost like a pea, oh, this is called kiwi. This is almost like a pea green color. Interesting. How is that looking in the light? That almost looks yellow. That really almost looks like a neon, doesn't it? I don't think I've ever used this color before, but I think it'll be pretty once it's done. So I'm getting the bottoms just because they're there and it's easy. I just like it finished off because if you turn it over or if you're gonna lay a few around, let's just get those bottoms painted. And again, I'm coming all the way up to the front. This is like a papery material. So you're gonna see that little jaggedy edge on top. Okay, so set those few down and we will do the last few. So I'm gonna do the last few really quick. So here we go. Okay guys, so here we are and we have quite a few spring colored pots here. And I painted pink, I've got yellow, I've got aqua, I've got all the colors, that pea green kind of color. And why don't I just start with this one? And um, so I've got all the pretty colors in a row. They're so beautiful. And what we're gonna do next is we're just going to give them a little bit of character. I thought about maybe putting a little bit of brown wax on them to give them an age look, but it is spring. So we just want to, lighten them up and brighten them up a little bit. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this extreme glitter. I have a big bottle of it because it's so much fun for certain stuff. And <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is I've got a paintbrush and I've already tried out one, but we're gonna lightly brush the outside of this. And um, it's just gonna grab onto that texture of the pot. It's like paper. So see how it's lightening up a little bit, making it look a little bit messy, a little bit like it's tattered. I love it. All right, so then we're going to paint the inside. So this is brown, but we are going to paint the inside with my white chalk paint. I probably should have a different brush because I'm kind of going back and forth, but we're going to do white chalk paint on the inside. Now, I was right that this was going to absorb the paint really easy, and it did, but it's really taken a long time to dry, so I could almost put these in the oven, and I might do that. So if you're in a little bit of a hurry, um, you can put them in the oven for a quicker dry, and it's not gonna do anything if you put it on low. Just make sure that you put it on low, and they won't burn, of course, or start a fire in your oven, because <laughs> we don't wanna do that. So um, just put it on low. I've put a, a, quite a few of my crafts, I have a craft oven, and I've put quite a few of my crafts on the lowest possible, like I think it's like 170, and it'll just speed it up a little bit quicker. As long as it's not plastic, you should be okay. So what we're doing here is I'm just painting the inside because, you know, most likely something's gonna go in here, but it just finishes it because, you know, it just is so annoying when you have a cute craft or it, you make something and you go back and you're like, darn it, I wish I would've painted the bottom or I wish I would've painted the inside. So we are eliminating that frustration 
of not having it done the right the first time. So we're just gonna paint the inside and this wax, this chalk paint should dry pretty quick. And it's not taking too long. So I'm just using a cheaper brush. This is like an inch. I use these all the time. I've got a lot on hand. In fact, I've got two soaking because I rinsed those out after I painted the colors. And I only used two brushes to paint all of these different colors. So I just, and it, it worked out well. I just saved a little time with instead of washing in between. So if you can look up close, you can see the papery edge, but I love it. That's why I picked these up. I love that it's a little bit messy on the end and um, it just gives it a little, just a little bit more flair. So, okay, so that's what we're gonna do there. Now, what you can do, and you can kind of just have fun with this, but I'm gonna paint around the edges a little bit and I probably could have done the same thing with the glitter. So I might grab a little bit of the glitter and I'm only doing this next step here because you really are not gonna be able to see possibly what is inside your pot. So I am going to, oops, I'm getting a little bit of green mixed in there. All right, so let's put that down. Now I've got my white glitter. You can use, if you wanted to do this gold or white or whatever, um, but I've got white glitter because I'm just using what I have on hand because I'm really trying to be better. And I'm trying to use or reuse stuff that I have instead of keep buying new, stuff all the time because I've got I think everything I need here I just need to I just need to use it and stop buying all the new stuff so I've got if you're a crafter you probably have you probably understand where I'm coming from so try to dig out those old paints and crafts and you can use them just shake them up like I did so I am sprinkling glitter along the edge see that and we're just making them kind of messy and fun and you can see how that paper material really grabbed onto that light brushing that I did with the uh, white paintbrush. So I'm, I've got a protective sheet here, as you saw, and I'm just going to sprinkle so that wet paint will grab it. And so now I've got two done. I had to try one first, and this is actually the purple, the lavender. So if you can see, the glitter is just on the very edges because most likely I'm gonna fill this with grass or something, and um, then I'm gonna do something else. So I'm not going to ruin it, but wait for the next step. So you can do this whole process. You're going to paint on the inside of each one. And like I said, you could do a gold. I've got my gold out too, and I might do some of them gold, but they're going to be so pretty at the end. So I'm going to finish them up and I'll be back with the next step. Okay guys, so the next and final step that we are gonna do after you have all of your interior of your pots decorated and all character, charactered up, we are going to take a, you can do a couple different things here. You can take a wire and you're gonna poke a hole in the side and you can take a wire kind of like we did with some of my other crafts and you can do a wire to do a hanging basket. These would even be cute for May Day baskets. Um, the other thing is I thought these were cute. These little twigs would be cute. And I just have artificial twigs, but if you have real twigs outside, maybe you could use those. But I have this leftover branch that's so tattered and kind of falling apart because I've used it so much for different crafts. So I kind of took a twig off of this and I'm gonna use it for the little handles. So I took my wire cutter and I just cut a strip like this. It's kind of all over the place, sorry. And I'm gonna cut it. Hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna cut it. There we go. And I'm gonna take all these little pieces off. I mean, this little branch might be cute, but I'm gonna take all these little pieces because they're kind of falling apart anyway. So I just thought that this branch was perfect because it's kind of cold out and I just don't really feel like going and finding sticks right now. So I'm gonna bend it and I'm gonna make a couple handles. So I poked a hole in here in hopes that maybe it would work this way. So let's see if this works. Otherwise, you can just take a little bit of glue and I've got my glue gun plug, plugged in. You can take a little bit of glue and you can use the glue and just, oops, I guess I went inside on that one. Okay, so just like that, okay? So see, so you've got a cute little hanging basket and you can do the same for the other one. And I can tell that this is still a little damp. Remember what I said before to maybe put it in the oven? You could do that. 
Otherwise, just be careful because this is paper, so you've kind of weakened the paper when you've painted it and made it wet. So if you're gonna do this process, just be careful with it that you don't rip it because I can kind of see until it's fully dry that it could possibly rip. Whoops, I guess I went in that way. And then you're going to do a hole on the other side with just something. Maybe you have like a tiny little screwdriver or something that you could poke a hole with, or you could just use wire like I am. And just want one little hole so this twig can go through it. Oops, I just did the same thing again. I went on the outside on that one and then on the inside on the other. Okay, so it's cute enough to hold. No, you guys, I'm doing this wrong, shoot. Okay, I am going outside in and outside in, there we go. Okay, so it's cute enough to hold, look at just like that. And then, so you have this, so you can use these, put little eggs in them, you can put it on your dinner plate, and I'll be sending pictures, you'll see pictures at the end of the video here, and then um, you can take your little grass, just show you a quick way that you can decorate it up. I don't know what happened to my scissors, so I'm using this. This wire cutter is coming in for all the reasons today. So I don't know where I got this Easter grass, but so cute. Stick it in there like that, like so. And then um, if you look at some of my other videos and I did these little carrots, I knew I had fun ideas for them. So this is like the perfect little idea. You can put a carrot in it or a couple carrots, or you can put little eggs in it and put it on the dinner plate for Easter. Or they have these adorable little carrots that I found at Dollar Tree and you can just decorate with them. So you can use that in this as well, but they just are so cute with a little bit of that um, Easter egg grass in it and it just is cute. So, so cute all together. So I can't wait for you to see all the pictures. Hopefully you like it and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.